About three years after the implementation of the benchmark policy, the government recently announced a complete reversal of the policy, which was initiated in a bid to help reduce the prices of imported products in the country. This means that beginning this year, importers will no longer enjoy 10% discount on vehicles and a 30% discount on all other goods. The news was made public by the Ghana Revenue Authority, GRA, and explained that the move was in line with the 2023 budget and economic policy aimed at collecting more revenue for the state. However, the business community is unhappy with the reversal of the benchmark policy. Dr. Joseph Obin is the president of Guta and he says the move will result in a further increase in the price of goods and services. It was captured in the budget and uh, now they are going to implement it. Um, what is going to happen is that um, duty is going to go up about 40 percent cumulatively. And this is what we have to contend with this year. Uh, beginning of this year, we suspect that uh, we expect that um, cost of doing business is going to go high because already VAT is also added and it's all part of the duty calculation. And then when you come to also um, do your costing, you have to also charge the VAT. So. Um, we are expecting that prices of goods and services are going to go up, and no doubt about that. Because these are the factors that we use to benchmark our pricing. And so once the duties are going to go up, once VAT is going to go up, we should expect that um, we are also going to add up. Executive Secretary of the Importers and Exporters Association of Ghana, Samson Asakia Wingovic, said government reversal of the policy is in bad taste. The finance minister made it clear on that very day to us that government was also going to set up an ad hoc committee. This ad hoc committee was going to comprise we, the business community, and the government. I can tell you that since the payment balance was taken away, that 20% reversal from the vehicle and 30% reversal from the from the import, uh, general goods, up to that aspect, we did not have any meeting. Government did not invite us to come to government to continue the discussion, nor even asking for the to constitute the ad hoc committee that was announced in the very day the finance minister took off the defense. In fact, the finance minister could not take it off unilaterally. That was the reason why the finance minister engaged me. The point is, if I had received my tax bill as a last week, which was not at the time, then the value of was not taken effect. Dr. Joseph Obin also stated that it was crucial to boost the local manufacturing industry to reduce the dependence on importation.